Hello YouTube, and I've got a pin here on my next for a review, and I'm doing a review on the Revenge of the Fallen movie. And this video will contain loads of spoilers, and yeah. So if you don't want to what, if you don't want to hear the spoilers, just don't watch this video, okay? So I'm going to crack on with the film. I'm going to tell you about the film and in my opinion. Um, what happens is, the beginning of the film is, it's, it's Optimus saying that, that, how do I put it, that, the, 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 the Transformers and the humans had a war in 17,000 BC, and the Fallen was in the battle with the Primes, and, and, and it explains like that and then it has Optimus in Shanghai with the other Autobots and Nest the alliance between the Autobots and Transformers so it's like army people from the first film and they fight the Marsha take out the Marsha and he and Optimus is to the Marsha when he can have you got any last words and the Marsha says the fallen will rise again and Optimus is like knocked down and just shoots him and yeah and at the same time you see skids and mud flap in their ice cream truck mode and the RC bikes and sideways getting sliced in half by side spike and yeah and then it has like Sam being attacked by the little kitchen box and Bumblebee saving him, pretty much wrecking her entire house and, and um, goes to college and then the Autobots and then Bumblebee goes and finds Sam and yeah. um, then goes to get the all spark fragment from the um, cave and doesn't succeed in getting it as a lot of people have probably seen the clip on that um, and at the same time Soundwave is searching for another fragment and he launches Ravage he goes to get the fragment and sends out all those little sphere pod things who like all merge together to create like a car a paper thing, thing which gets the all spark fragment and then Rabbit goes to goes to constructicons and that come along and go and revive Megatron but they like rip someone apart either overload or high tower it rips them apart get spark from Megatron and then scamble because it's work under the ocean and Megatron comes up and destroys some submarine then um, what's the name? Then, then Alice, who is suddenly a Decepticon in disguise, traces Sam and that. And then they get picked up by Grindor, who takes them to Starscream and Megatron. And um, um, then Optimus and Bumblebee turn up, and Bumblebee takes the dark ring, Optimus is a f in a fight with Megatron, and then Optimus goes off with Sam and Bum and 
they get to have a forest battle and Optimus is fighting Megatron and then getting beaten Megatron and then Starscream and Grindor turn up Optimus says I'll take on all of you he basically stabs Grindor in the face takes out Starscream and then Megatron comes up behind him stabs him in the chest and shoots him and um, yeah he could we say Optimus dies and it's like the most shocking point in the film the most like like the most shocking bit of the film is of Optimus is killed by Megatron and Sam runs off and then the other Autobots turn up and Bumblebee skids and Mudflap go and before this Megatron actually returns to Cybertron and gets Starscream and says to the fool and talks to the fool and then they and they got the information from um Sam from before and Fallen comes to Earth and somehow gets on the network and says and gets into all TVs and stuff. Um but if they, the humans don't surrender Sam they're going to all be destroyed. And Sam is wanted and yeah. Sorry about that, my um my laptop ran out of power so yeah anyway, um Sam is wanted by everyone and they're looking at him. Sam goes to Agent Simmons and he has loads of stuff and he says that Transformers have been there for a long time and they discover like that stuff and then they go and then they go with Wheelie to the museum they reactivate Jetfire who teleports them to Egypt and tells them about the Fallen and the, the Temple of Primes because the Fallen wanted the Matrix because he had this Sun Destroyer weapon, we could suck all the energy at the sun or something, and it got covered up by the pyramids. And apparently, there and there was this thing called the Cave of Primes, where the Matrix was, where the three remaining primes, except for the Fallen, um, made with their bodies. And yeah, with the Matrix inside and. They go there, Sam gets the Matrix, and as soon as he touches it, it turns to dust. So Sam gets something and he puts all the dust into it, like a, like, I don't know, it's like a sock or something, but he gets it and puts it in there and keeps hold of it. And Simmons sends the coordinates for the other Autobots to get there to bring Optimus's body back, because they think that the Matrix could revive Optimus but the Fallen wants it to do the something and yeah so the, the, all the P, all the Autobots and that parachute down with Optimus' body and yeah this is like this is like two hours into the film and the last like half an hour is just well, the last half an hour is Sam trying to get to thing with the trying to get to the soldiers where Optimus is to revive him. And um, yeah. And um, Starscream starts attacking them. Then Devastator comes along and I swear that in the battle I'm sure that in the final battle at the, at the same, because at the same time where the Constructicons combined into Devastator but I'm sure there's another set of them in the final battle except for like 
because Agent Simmons and Mob Black and Skids are like by Devastator and he's like suck 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 Mob Flap and then Mob Flap like smashes a hole in his eye and comes up the top or something and yeah um and oh my god this video is going to run in too far so i'm going to stop this now i'm going to continue it in a second